Okay, so let's talk about uh, uh, using the set create table parameter function to actually generate some new content within the models based on existing content that's already there using Excel tables and Power Query. So we're going to start off by just creating a, a, a table uh, that contains all of the engineered by parameters for all of the PRT files that are in session. So when I run this, you'll notice that just that quickly it's created a table and extracted that particular parameter and the current value um, for each model that's in session for the PRT files. Um, to build a transform of this uh, using Power Query, we're going to come in and we're going to select in the table and say, uh, we're going to create a query from table and range. And in this particular case, um, all we're going to do is we're going to create a new parameter. We're going to set up a new table, basically. We're going to take the table of information that's there. We're going to modify or transform it by performing some operations on it. So in this case, we're going to say we're going to take engineered by and replace it with engineered by two. And let's also, just for giggles, um, replace the value that says, okay, if, it's, if, it, if it has DHB in it, uh, let's replace that with uh, TTY. And also, let's also replace the status of it from false to true. And um, we'll call this my table two. So when we save and load this, uh, what it's going to do is it's going to create that new table for us in Excel. So this is the query that is taking this original table in and transforming it into this final table that's here. So you can see that it has the same number of columns, you know, the same, except we have a new parameter and a new value that's going to be set. So to get that to send back across, we're just going to create a new execute sheet and we'll say send stuff. And that is going to uh, give us a new execution worksheet here. Now, just as a good practice, we're going to want to refresh um, the Excel workbook to make sure that all of the connections and queries are up to date before we try to write anything. And then we're just going to simply do a set create using the table variation. And we're going to call this TBL I table two, which is the name of the table that was created here, as you can see, my table two. So when we run this, it's actually going to re rewrite everything out and then rerun it. So uh, we're going to go ahead and run this, and you'll notice that the queries are updating, and just that quickly it's been finished. So if we come back over to to Nitrous or to Creo and take a look at any of the parts that are in here, uh, sure enough, we should see uh, engineered, oops, engineered and engineered by two and the different statuses that have been set for these things. So we can go model by model and, and see that they have, in fact, been changed and updated according to the process that we have set up in Excel right now.